Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Monday. Uh, Amanda and I have, uh, or not, it is Monday. We took yesterday off, which would have been, uh, which was Sunday. I'm all sorts confused. We, we've been really tired today. We kind of took a day to relax. Uh, we went to work, but we came home. We got some stuff at Michael's. We got some stuff at Home Depot. As I'm saying, this doesn't really sound like we've been relaxing. <laughs> and then we also fold the laundry, but... Um, I feel like every night we've been doing something out, going out, so it's nice just staying in tonight. Anyways, besides going to Michael's, besides going to Michael's and Home Depot, and oh yeah, and Pet Smart. We're home now, and we're doing something that we should have had done a while back. We are painting the birdhouse. So we have blues, we're going to do a lot of blues and whites, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get started. Now he decided to come join us in the window seal. And <laughs> he's squished up there so tight. Hi, Maui. Wait, <laughs> what are you doing? What? We have finished the birdhouse. Not birdhouse, uh, the bird feeder. Yeah. I keep wanting to call it birdhouse, but... It's close. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully we'll have a little bit of birds come and check it out. Good afternoon everyone and happy Tuesday. I am home. Uh, we're both about to get changed and head out because I got a gift card for uh, participating, just basically volunteering to uh, do the refereeing back uh, a couple of months ago for the uh, church basketball league. And uh, after it was all over, they're like, here, here's uh, a big thank you. So they give us a Chili's gift card. So we're going to go to Chili's. We're going to get some appetizers and then dessert tonight. Um, about to get changed, but Amanda did a little bit of shopping today. Today was one of our days off. And she got one of these. I just want to show this because I thought it was cool. And she got it for our plane um, for vacation. And we love doing Mad Libs. They're so much fun. But we'll get to take it to Disney and do it on the plane, which I think will be a lot of fun as well. We're going to go get changed now and then head to Chili's. All right, we made it to Chili's. And we're on the dessert portion because the appetizers, we, we get what we usually get, which is a skillet case and we got some wings. But what do we get for dessert? Cookie. It looks really good. We're back home now. We had a great night of chilies. Mm -hmm. Had a good dessert. As you guys saw, we're falling <laughs> what are over you doing? here. I'm falling <laughs> for you. Um, we had you a. No, I almost fell in the bathroom at chilies. No, why? I don't know. I opened the door and I almost fell. I think the floor is slippery. The floor reach out and grab you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I really almost fell in my face. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but yeah, Chili's was good. Then we went to Shoe Carnival after, and we were looking for a new pair of shoes. Man, I got sneakers. Um, yeah, I bet you found some. Want to see? Yeah, okay. let's do it. I'm excited. They're cute. Let's see. Ta-da. Cute. You like them? Yeah, what are they? Nike Revolution 5s. Ooh. Yeah, we got my Shoe Carnival, so. Nice. A little bit uh, cheaper at Shoe Carnival, which is nice. Yeah, like I said, we're back home now. We're about to head to bed. Um, it was a good night, and I just wanted to say that we saw a bird um, come into the feeder today. We did. Maui was all excited. He was chirping at it. Yeah, he really it was. was. Uh, so hopefully more will come, and maybe we'll get to show uh, some of the birds coming by sometime. Do you work from home tomorrow a little Half bit? Half the day, yeah. Um, and then I work tomorrow evening. Go, oh, here comes a Maui. Maui, Maui, Maui. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna head to bed. So Maui, tell everyone good night. So see you in the morning. See you in the morning. So handsome. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's the start of my weekend, and uh, it's Amanda's last day of work. Um, I'm making some coffee right now. It's one of my favorites. Um, not my favorite, but one of my favorites. I think we've showed you before, but it's. I don't. I want to pronounce it right. I really do. How would you pronounce it? I don't know. We asked Google one time. <laughs> Let's see if she can get it again. Hey Google, can you pronounce K A U A I? That's pronounced Kawaii. Kawaii, okay. Kawaii coffee, and it's Island Sunrise. It's really good. And I have it in the Disneyland mug today. I'm missing some Disneyland. And Amanda is using the Disney World mug today, so we're a little matchy matchy. I feel like we haven't uh, vlogged that much the past couple of days. We've been really busy with work. Um, and our schedules uh, have not been as much aligned the past two days. I've been working nights. Um, it's just part of my normal schedule. But um, yeah, we have some stuff planned for today and tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. I'll save our plan announcements for tomorrow once we do it or once we um, 
get to where we're going. But today, uh, after Amanda gets off work, we're going to go to dinner with Zach and Hannah, and then we're going to go do another escape game, uh, which I'm really excited about. I think we're doing, is it the mystery um, yeah. so it's mansion? Called, it's, I think the, it's called Breakout Games, and then Breakout we're doing games. Mystery Mansion. Yes, that sounds right. It's in Knoxville. Yeah, it's in Knoxville, so I'm excited for that. Uh, now, we probably won't be able to take the camera in, but we'll uh, obviously talk about it after. We're making breakfast now, and look at this beautiful slab of bacon. Looks so great. If you guys are wondering what we're making, we're making crunch wraps. And the crunch wraps are done, and they look delicious. I'm having them on these little nice summery plates. All right, we're having dinner at Noodles and Company. So let's go. So I got some Japanese Asian noodles. What did you get? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Are you laughing at the little amount that they put in my bowl? No, because it was supposed to come with veggies and you said no veggies. Yeah, but you would think if you say no veggies, you would no, just give a little bit more. <laughs> this is cheaper. The noodles are cheaper. For a quarter of a bowl of noodles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, welcome to my life. <laughs> you could have had veggies. It doesn't have to be your life. You chose this. But, but. But you, they could have gave some extra noodles. Like, it would have been okay. It would have been okay, but they chose not to. <laughs> but we got some pot stickers too, so that'll help. And then what did you get? Uh, um, pesto tortellini. That's good. All right, it's time for our breakout game that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a haunted. No, it's a it's a mystery mansion. It's literally gonna be haunted, and I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> Me too. That's gonna be great. We'll see you guys when we get out. Good luck, Zach. All right, today's adventure is Dollywood. And we're here, and it's gonna be crowded, and it's a flower and food festival, so we're really excited. <laughs> it is, it's so pretty. All right. It's time for lightning rod, and it's working as of now, <laughs> so fingers crossed. I think it's time for a little bit of a catch up because um, there's a lot that's been going on. Um, well, first we'll start by I'll start by saying that uh, I apologize that the past couple of nights, this whole week's kind of kind of been weird, and um, the fact that we're like we're getting home really late every night and we're just not even having like a closing out to the night. So um, I feel like the vlogs kind of end abruptly every night. Um, so to close off last night, we did the uh, breakout game. We escaped. We had 
I think it was two minutes and 39 seconds left. So um, it was a lot of fun. We used up two of our three clues. Um, but it was, oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And uh, apparently that was their hardest one they have. And statistically the hardest one to complete as well. So we at least we at least broke out, which was a lot of fun. And we have another one booked for this coming week. Uh, it's a submarine one this time. So uh, we went ahead and booked it again with them. Um, Overall, it was just a really fun experience last night, and it's always fun getting, getting together with Zach and Hannah and uh, trying to do some new games and new fun things to do. So for today, we're here in Dollywood, and uh, it's a really, really crowded day. Amanda has to work a little bit today. Um, luckily, the park is right in there where she uh, her office is. So I'm just hanging out in the parks until uh, she gets back. So. Uh, we did Lightning Rod together as soon as we got in. We ran down Lightning Rod because we haven't done that in four years. It has been four years since we last rode it. And every year we come back, except uh, 2020 uh, because of the pandemic, but uh, 2020 was the only year. So three years really um, where we haven't got to ride. And every time we come back, it was always closed. And even when we came back for opening day of this year, it was closed the entire day. So I got to ride it today and then she left and then I just rode it again. So got that out of the way, got that out of my system. I didn't cry today. I was really gonna cry if, uh, if we couldn't do it. Uh, a couple of things, uh, you may notice that I don't have a mask on in the park. Um, Dollywood has changed their rules recently uh, to where if you're fully vaccinated, then you don't have to wear a mask. If you're not, if you don't have a vaccine, you still need to wear the mask. Um, so it's, it's nice, it's a little freeing, it's a little scary still. Um, even though we had, we got vaccinated and that's, you know, that's what we're headed towards and it's really excited. But it's a little, little nerve wracking and it's kind of weird being in such a big park in the summertime without a mask because it's been so long. Um, but it is really nice and it's a nice day out. And it is the flower and food festival. I don't know how much food we're going to get to try today because Amanda's working most of the day and I don't really want to try anything without her. However, uh, I think I'm going to go around right now and we're going to look at some of the things they have. Like they have the uh, hanging umbrellas, which is really cool. We saw when we came in, they have some uh, topiaries um, that are, uh, there's just a lot of things to look at. Um, we might try a little bit of food today, but not much. So uh, let's go take a walk now and, and see all the new stuff.
good afternoon to you. We're going to take a brief break to uh, watch some people get soaked on the river rampage. <laughs> All right, last one. Looks like a bunch of kids are going to get this one. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to take a slow walk around the park and just uh, get a couple of laughs over here by the Red Rampage because you cannot go on this ride without being completely soaked. Some more <laughs> you can, there's like several spots. It's not even like, this is just one in many right here. Um, but uh, I'm going to give a heck of walking around the park and see if I can spot any more things that's uh, new to the uh, Flower Food Festival. Okay, so I will continue to push this advice on anyone and everyone. Drink plenty of water, no matter where you are, whether it's Disney or any kind of park. If you're out in the day, in the sun, make sure you stay hydrated. And dispose of any trash in the receptacle located outside of the performance area. Thank you, and enjoy the show.
See, I'm not the only one, guys. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Even Dollywood's uh, advertising it. So I'm continuing to walk through the park, seeing if I can spot anything else, and uh, I haven't found anything in this back half. It's all usually up front, and that's pretty much where it is. But I'm walking through the Wildwood Grove area. I want to get some more water, and then I might wait in line for Dragonflyer, which is hands down the most thrilling attraction in this area. But uh, I, I feel like many people don't ride it because, like, oh, you know, it's a little family ride, it doesn't look that thrilling. But it. It is. It's extremely fun. So make sure you don't miss out on that when you come over here. Okay, so as you guys saw, I'm back near the umbrellas, which means I'm back at the front of the park. And I just had to give one more shot of the umbrellas because I think it's so cool and it's so beautiful under there. Um, so I think that's about it. I, I've walked around the entire park looking for more things that uh, you know are new for this festival. And I think I've found almost everything. Now there are some like flowers and stuff here and there, like smaller things, but not as big and not as like a character or anything like that. So when I did go back to the front of the park, I was able to grab some maps and they do have a like an experience guide and there's some stickers in there and there's things that tell you more about like what you can find at this festival. Kind of like how if you've ever been to Epcot and done any of the flower and garden there or the food and wine, similar to that in those booklets. So this is really handy. So I got a corn dog and some curly fries and uh, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to get through the line. It's Amanda cam time. Mitchell went to go get me a fork uh, because I forgot, but this is the fish and chips and it's $11 and it's two huge pieces of fish and you get a lot of french fries, lemon, and they have even vinegar. Yay, I love vinegar with my fish. So I'm really excited to try this and I heard it's really, really good. All right, it's time for Blazing Fury. Cannot wait and also Amanda's back from work. So let's do it.
All right, we've waited until Amanda got off work to go and do Mystery Mine. You excited? Yeah. It was closed when we were here for opening day. Because if you guys watched the vlog last time, they uh, redid some of the outside track coming up. So I'm excited to do it. It should be a lot smoother. And here's that new section we were talking about. When it comes out, it used to drop and go up over like a little a U shape, kind of like a rainbow shape. But now it goes to the side and drops and comes around. mystery mine and we thought it'd be a little bit smoother but <laughs> I looked over and Amanda screamed on one part and then she was like mm -mm, never again I hit my head so hard and like I know to prepare for that right you lean back or whatever but I don't know I guess I didn't expect the last little jolt before we went up the first hill it hit my ear and head so hard I'm about to use underhead yeah. I guess I'm okay I guess you're okay <laughs> Ready for the last ride of the day? What is it? <laughs> All right, we're finished with the park for tonight. What? Oh. <laughs> Like, um, so overall, it was a really good day. Um, you had a little bit of a split day. Yeah. But we had to have a lot of fun when it you was came good. back. We had a lot of fun. We did lightning rod. Twice. Twice. I did a couple more than that. Yeah. Um, so today it was really crowded. The lines for the foods were insane. The rides weren't too bad. Um, but it was really nice walking around, seeing all the new stuff that they have for the food and flower. Or excuse me, flower and food festival. And I think the umbrellas right here. That's why we're here. My Look at that. Part. They're my favorite part too. They're so cool and it's amazing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this time uh, with us here at Dollywood, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on this adventure. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. Make sure you subscribe here for more fun videos. And don't forget to check out the previous video, which is right here. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and any other social media we have, we'll put the links below for that. Thanks again for watching.